guys, Literary Prepper back again. Um, just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's happening with the dog food shortage and pet food shortage overall. Um, so it turns out that um, part of the whole pricing dispute between uh, Mars Pet Food and Coles and Woolworths is because Mars, the pet food company, want to um, put their prices up a little bit on their canned products. Um, I'm not sure if it's just their canned products, but those seem to be the ones that people are most angry about not being able to find on the shelves at the moment. Um, so yeah, they want to put their prices up a bit, obviously because, you know, they feel like, you know, that's justified, whether it be because of their own cost to produce the product has gone up, or whether they just want to increase their profit margins, I'm not sure about the ins and outs of it, or they just think that their product is popular, therefore they can ask for more. Which really, if um, you want to claim that, you know, capitalism is all about free markets, they should be well within their rights to do. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, uh, they want to put their prices up and Coles and Woolworths have said, well, we're not buying your product at that price. We want to keep it low and we want to keep it cheap. So um, the apparently, you know, spokespeople from Coles and Woolworths have come out and they're all like, oh, we're doing our best to try to, you know, uh, come to a resolution and, you know, products will be back on the shelves soon. Uh, but, you know, if, you know, you remember back to when they were doing the same thing with the milk pricing, I can't remember exactly how long that went on for, but, um, sorry, that's the washing machine in the background, if you can hear it. Um, so, yeah, that, that went on for, you know, quite a while. So I have no idea how long this is actually going to last because, if I was the company wanting to put my prices up, I wouldn't want to be negotiating on that. Likewise, on the other side, if they don't want to pay the higher prices, I can also see them not wanting to budge a whole lot. So it will be interesting to see how long this whole thing lasts. For those of you, I totally, totally understand those of you who have pets who are um, picky eaters because um, my, my grandmother's cat went through a stage where um, he would only ever eat like one type of product so like if there was like a you know, chicken flavor for example he would have that for one night and then never want to eat that particular brand and flavor again and then he would choose like you know maybe the chicken from a different brand and then never want to eat that one again and then maybe like the you know tuna from another brand and just it, it cost her a lot of money and unfortunately he's no longer with us. He got quite sick not long ago. Um, but yeah, when you know my grandmother went to sort of clear out all of this um, you know, leftover cat stuff after the cat died, there were just, you know, different packets and you know, bits and pieces from different kinds of food like all over her laundry cupboard where she kept her food because <laughs> You know, the, the cat could never decide on, you know, which brand, which flavour of food he um, he liked. But um, I know there's a lot of people out there that have pets who are picky eaters who are probably, you know, facing a similar sort of problem at the moment where their pet's chosen brand or flavour is not available at the moment. Um, so if that's you and... Um, you're you know, not happy at the moment because you can't find the products that you want, you can go online. I jumped online this morning. There's, I think they call themselves NetPet or something similar sounding. Anyway, you can go online and there are like these smaller pet supply companies where you can still buy these products. Um, but of course, buying everything online, you've got to then sort of pay for postage and wait for it to arrive, which doesn't help you today if you're you know out of pet food right now I know that but it is an alternative because as I said with the whole milk fiasco that lasted a lot longer than what people predicted and um, we have no idea how long this negotiation is going to last so um, jump online just google whatever product it is that you normally buy um, and then just sort of go to like the little shopping tab that pops up along the top of your uh, search bar where it has like um, you know, images, videos, there should be one that says shopping and if there's not just type in shopping and um, I, I think for a 12 pack of my dog 
adult cans, I think it was about $37 this morning. Um, I don't know if that includes postage or not. So th those are your alternatives if you have absolutely nowhere to um, turn to. Otherwise, it may be a good opportunity to um, maybe test out some different brands on your pet and see if you can find something that they you know like you know almost as much, or maybe try one of the smaller supermarkets like um, you know or alternative supermarkets like Aldi or um, IGA, sorry, um, or um, maybe like go to like a pet stock or a pet barn or uh, your local vet and see if they have. Food. I know those options are often more expensive, but you know, we've just got to ride this thing out, guys. And, and this is another reason why we sort of say to people, like, you have to be prepared for anything that pops up. I'm going to go on a little prepper rant here. Um, you know, I buy my dog food tins, you know, 10 at a time. So I do like a shop once a week and I buy 10 cans. So um, if they're on special, I buy more than that. So at the moment, you know, we, depending on how long this thing goes for, we're fairly right for dog food for, you know, a decent length of time. You don't want to store it for um, a stupid amount of time because dog food is high in fat and um, that doesn't store as well as, you know, say canned veggies. But, um, you know, it, it's something that you really ought to be thinking about just in case something does happen. Just even if it's only a couple of months supply, really cans don't take up a whole lot of room. Um, you know, I've got cans shoved in all sorts of nooks and crannies that if people come around, they don't know that, you know, they're in a prepper house because they just fit everywhere. And people aren't really going to notice. It's like you have a dog, you have dog food. It makes sense. Anywho, so um, yeah, jump online, see if you can find whatever product it is that you're missing. And um, yeah. Good luck with it all, and when these products do come back, I'm, I'm sure they will come back because they're quite popular. But when they do come back, maybe just keep that in the back of your mind. Maybe just sort of start buying a few extra cans or you know, packets of dry food or whatever it is that you guys are not able to get a hold of now. Just make sure that you have some extras just in case something like this does happen. All right, so um, that's my sort of two cents for the day. Um, as usual, like, share, subscribe. Um, you can find us on Patreon if you want to be generous and donate to the cause. Um, seeing as you know, Facebook are all like, you don't have enough subscribers so that we can't pay you. Anywho, um, I'll talk to you guys later and good luck with the uh, food shortage.